Welcome to MEI Mechanics. We're on the topic of Impulse and Momentum 1, Introduction, and this is video 1.1, Momentum. Now, momentum is a word which is used quite a lot. Um, you've definitely heard about it. In terms of how it's uh, defined precisely within mechanics, it is the mass times the velocity. And it turns out that momentum is a very useful quantity to, to use, and, and often we can um, analyze collisions between objects just by thinking about the momentum of the objects before and after the collision. Uh, now, because mass is scalar but velocity is a vector, that means that momentum is a vector. Uh, and it's very important to be aware of that um, because a lot of the time we're talking about change in momentum and it's important to deal with the sign of the momentum in, in one dimension um, as well as the size of it. Now the units of momentum, well looking at that, it's correct to say that the units are kilogram meters per second. Um, but it's actually, and it's, you can show this, that that is the same as Newton seconds. And we'll, we'll talk about that later in the, in the course. Um, but a kilogram meter per second, which is uh, one way of, of, of um, quantifying momentum, is also a, a Newton second. Um, and as we mentioned just before, the change in momentum is a very important thing to consider when you're dealing with collisions. Uh, and it's also important to point out that momentum is not the same thing as energy. All right, Kinetic energy is um, uh, proportional to the square of the velocity, so it's a half mv squared. So it's similar, it depends on mass and velocity, uh, but momentum, momentum itself is not energy. So a couple of simple examples to start off with. Um, we want to just find the, the size of the momentum of a, a speedboat of mass 180 kilograms moving at 80 meters per second. So applying what we saw on the previous slide, just mass times velocity. So that is 180 times 80. So that is um, 14,400. Newton seconds. And then part B with this steamroller, alright, so 3.6 tonnes, so that's 3,600 kilograms multiplied by a much slower speed of 4 metres per second. And interestingly enough, that turns out to be the same size. And that's uh, worth um, thinking about. So. Uh, because momentum depends both on uh, the mass and the velocity, it's possible for two things to have the same momentum, but to have very uh, different um, separate masses and velocities. All right, so you've either got a relatively light thing moving fast or a relatively heavy thing traveling slowly, and they can have the same momentum. <laughs> Another example now, and this time we're looking at a change in momentum. So. Um, we don't have to set it out in, in this way, in this simple case, but just to get into the habit of thinking about final momentum and initial momentum, that's what we're going to do. So let's start by working out the initial momentum. That is mass of 3 times velocity of 6. So that is 18 newton seconds. And then the final momentum. That is 3 times 15, which is 45 newton seconds. So the change in momentum is 45 minus 18, so that's 27 newton seconds. Now in this example we've got um, a body of mass 3 kilograms and it has changed from going at 5 meters per second in one direction. So let's say it looks like that initially, its velocity, uh, to 4 meters per second in the opposite direction. So if we think about the initial 
momentum, assuming that the um, that the moving to the right is the positive direction, the initial momentum is equal to three times five, and then the final momentum is equal to three times minus four. Okay, so its initial momentum is positive 15, its final momentum is negative 12. And so the change in momentum, that's the final momentum, which is minus 12, take away the initial momentum, which was 15. So that is minus 27 newton seconds. Now I could leave it as minus 27, having defined uh, right as being the positive direction, or I could say that it's 27 um, newton seconds in the opposite direction, uh, as long as it's clear what the direction is, as well as the size when you're talking about momentum and changes in momentum. So that concludes video 1.1 on momentum. The next video will be 1.2, input.